It still sounds crazy, you know, but um, an absolute dream come true. Monday really was a dream come true. It was a really emotional day, you know, like keep it controlling those emotions and being able to get on the start line to be able to execute the ride to then finally look up in the final and see that we'd smashed the world record by nearly two tenths and we'd become Olympic champions. I think we all just kept looking at each other like, what is our life? Like, what is going on? And there's so many pictures of us riding around the velodrome celebrating and we're literally all just like, what is going on? It was just, yeah, such a, we just couldn't stop screaming. <laughs> We knew coming into these games that we were in good shape and we knew the team had potential to go really fast and we did know that the competition was going to be really, really hot and it was potentially going to take a world record to win. Um, we knew we were capable of that, but to be able to execute that three times when world records are falling all around you is just a whole other story and something we've worked really, really hard on. And Yeah, we dreamt of becoming Olympic champions and breaking the world record, but we never dreamt of doing a 45-1. Like, that was yeah beyond our expectation. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to do it without the National Lottery, and it allows us to be able to give our all into the sport and, yeah, to be able to take those challenges and potentially and then become an Olympic champions. It allows us to be able to give 100% to our sport. It means that we don't have to go out and find other ways of trying to make money to pay the bills. But yeah, it just gives us that comfort and support of being able to yeah, live our dreams every day to be able to compete at the Olympic Games.